We are Lisa and Tim of Old Rope Salvage and we are restoring a 1975 Bedford fire truck in the hope that one day soon we will be transforming it into the off-grid home on wheels of our dreams. Before that happens, however, we are stuck with working our way through this tick list as we restore all of the many, many panels from the cab. In this week's instalment, we are repairing, scrubbing, sanding, priming, sanding, bantering, painting, well, you get the idea. I can't keep track, so to find out what's going on and how far we get, keep watching and we'll fill you in on all of our progress so far. It's another week and we're plodding on through all the panels. It kind of feels like it's just never ending. From your point of view, you're probably thinking, well, how much more is there to go? Haven't they finished all the panels yet? So partly for us and partly for you, I've made a handy chart. There are 12 main big panels that we've been working through and they've been going through various stages of work with welding, sandblasting, epoxy primer, the, all the body work, high build primer and then colour block sanding which is like the finer details of body work and the top coat. All the welding is done, almost all the sandblasting is done which is something I'm really happy about and the thing that uh, Tim is working on now is all the main body work so that's doing sanding of the epoxy primer, all the filler in, more sanding, more filler in um, and uh, some of the high build primer has been done on all of those as well on the same ones and in fact some are already in top coat. So that is where we're up to. I have a feeling that this might be another couple of weeks work in this but you know we're taking each day as it comes, some days are easier than others so We'll see how we get on this week. So, remember the doors we were working on in our last video? Well, they're both stood in progress. The passenger side door has raced ahead and Tim has now finished the bodywork. And the driver's side, which took some serious welding and is now looking a lot happier than it used to, is now the very last panel to be getting sunblasted. Just when you think it's all over. With all that finally done and dusted, the driver's door gets its first coat of epoxy primer, whilst the passenger door gets one final dusting. Are you confused yet? Join the club. Why do you think I made the handy chart? Oh, the sandblasting's done! Oh my god! I'm so happy! <laughs> Not only that, <laughs> Not only that, the next one as well. Just did that. <gasps> Get in there! Get in there! I'm so Come happy. On. I'm going to do a little smiley face. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's brilliant. We uh, have just, after, after Lisa had sandblasted the driver's side door, the one that was the really bad one that had a lot of welding in it, we have just now uh, put the, uh, the coating of primer on it. There's a little bit on the other side to do, because um, we've got, like I explained before, we've got no way of hanging these up, so we're kind of having to do one side, letting it dry and then doing the other side. It's fine, suits us all right. Uh, so yeah, this is the one that was really bad as well, and there's a couple of little pinholes, but um, we'll fill them in. And this one here, this has all gone through bodywork now on it, and uh, I've just spotted in with the primer where we've done the bodywork, so anywhere where I've gone to bare metal or there's filler, I've put a bit more epoxy over it. And uh, yeah, this is looking really, yeah, you won't, I won't be able to tell it's had any repairs done to it, I'm sure. A welding and panel work might not have been the best in the world, but <laughs> it was solid and uh, yeah, it's cool. Sorry, I apologise for it being really dark. The wind has just kicked up like horrendously, so we've had to shut all the doors down because it's blowing the tent around horrendously. So uh, that explains maybe the dark in the middle of the day. Right. I'm going to get back to my cup of tea now. Oh. 
happens. Arr. There were 12 big panels which we were working on, all at various stages of progress, all lying around the workshop demanding our attention. One of the most time consuming stages is the body filling and sanding, something which Tim has enormous patience for, which is fortunate because to get it looking good, it takes an absolute shed load of the stuff. Hey, we finally finished our sandblasting! Hooray! This is a good day! So I'm getting out into the sunshine this morning and I'm going to be scrubbing the tarpaulins to get all the sand off of it before we do the top coat. Tim's inside the barn doing more sanding so I thought, yeah, I might sneak off for a little bit and have a bit Mankini. Yeah, YouTube likes that. Bikinis. You look good. Would YouTube like my mankini? I would have loved to have stayed out there in the sun all day, but I reluctantly dragged myself back inside to finish cleaning down the tent frame and the rest of the tarpaulins. I always get the most glamorous jobs, but to be fair I was just really happy to have finished all the sandblasting at last. Unfortunately during the sandblasting our tent had gotten absolutely filthy and it needed some proper scrubbing down before we could continue painting the panels. Just one of the many challenges of taking on a project like this on a tight budget is that certain resources, not just us, need to learn to multitask and that includes the blasting stroke spray paint booze. Hopefully it will be clean enough. The proof will undoubtedly be in the painting. In the meantime, Tim had been battling some body filler. Oh it looks like this was the bad store, but the actual outside of it I, uh, wasn't too bad. It did have some quite big patches that were welded up. And um, I think when I welded up the insides and put it together, I put some like a bit of warping in it. It looks terrible because the whole thing is just covered in filler, but it isn't very thick. It's, it's very, very thin in places, and there's a few bits where it's a little bit deeper. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm a bit embarrassed showing this with so much filler. Um, ironically, the other side, that, this was the one that was a really was rusty one, it's had a whole new bottom on it and it was welded all the way up around here and um, it's got hardly any filler in it. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I mean that's pretty good, <laughs> but it's got quite a lot on the outside. Sometimes some things don't quite reach your own very high exacting standards, but considering what a terrible state this door was in and how nervous he was about tackling it, it was a pretty big win to get all the welding and bodywork finished on the driver's door. Just a coat of epoxy and Tim was finally able to give himself the tick he had been waiting for. It doesn't end there, not even close. I should have remembered how long this process takes from last summer when we worked on the main body of the cab, but the mind has a way of forgetting these things and by now I think we were both mostly just in a daze. Keeping track of all the panels with the priming and sanding, the filler in, the more sanding, the more priming, the sanding, the sanding and the sanding, 
would have been impossible for me without my handy chart. But if you're as lost as I was for most of this week, don't despair. It'll be over soon. This video, that is, not the sanding. Am I being filmed? Oh, have I got a space safe stuff? Oh, I'm, I'm exhausted. Uh, yeah, we've got prepped up a door. I think it's the passenger side door. A little wing and one of the big wings. Uh, basically, that's all I can fit in there at the moment and that's all the bins I've got to put stuff on. So um, they're gonna get sprayed in some high build primer. They look pretty good. So hopefully uh, we've done enough prep work now. Uh, like the door though, um, we have to paint one side and then wait for it to dry and then turn it over and paint the other side. But that's cool because we've got more panels so they can be staggered with each other. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to get some high build primer on those three panels and then see what next I've got to do. Hmm. Let's go on. Ah, oh, my elbow. Right, let's Mountains to move, I got mountains. Mountains to move, a transformation. We'll get a new right. I'm salivating. Oh. Three panels in high build primer. What have we got? A little wing. A build primer. That's right. What side door is that? Passenger side door. Passenger side door. Ah, oh, I can't have a tick because it's only one side painted. Can I get half a tick? Well, it's one half. Half a tick. Ah, oh. oh. big wing. I'm getting a tick for that. Surely I can get half a tick. I think that's a bit unfair. You sure I can't have half a tick? Yeah, I can. Well, we took a day off because we went to visit some friends who were staying down in Helford. So hi, Louise, Bryn and the girls and Travers. So Tim came in yesterday while I was doing another job and is really getting these looking really good. So we've got the uh, passenger door here. We've got a big one, the big wings and we've got the two headlamp panels. Don't be fooled by the headlamp panels. They are still lagging behind slightly because although they look really good on this side, they still need all the bodywork to do on the other side. Um, but everything is kind of making really strong progress now. We had hoped maybe by the end of this week to be starting doing quite a bit of top coat, um, but not quite sure if we're gonna get there. Having said that, when we do do the top coat, it'll probably all be done like, a day or something because that's the way it is with these things it's all in the prep so i have a cup of tea and uh go and see where tim is down in the rut, I'm down. i lost my groove i got the move on the mountains to move i got mountains mountains to move i got mountains mountains to move i got mountains your tea's over there Right, so that means um, that's the passenger door that is in the high build and also the big wing, the other big wing, which is in the high build. And yes, just in case you didn't notice, I did indeed steal Tim's tick on that door. 
I am a bad person. I got mountains. Mountains to move. I got mountains. Mountains to move. I got mountains. Panels here and panels there. We've got panels resting on the wheels of the uh, the big truck. We've got panels resting over there with the pot noodles. Some on the back of the uh, the old truck and uh, a load of ones propped up in there. I've got one here that I've got to finish sanding so this is going to be put in the high build primer today. But I do know that progress is being made because evidence is in the tickage. Forgetting the headlamp panels which uh, have actually had quite a, all the insides of them are, uh, have been done. They're, they've all been seam sealed, stone chipped and primered. They just need a bit more work on the outside to get them up to spec so that they can then be um, put into the high build primer. But other than that, this is the last one. This is the driver's, the driver's the door. Driver's the door. infamous driver's door. So it's a massive amount of progress, but I think from a visual point of view, it must just look like, you know, 50 shades of grey forever. I know for me, it's just like, oh, it's still grey. <laughs> yeah, well, beyond this, I mean, with the high build primer, they, um, some of them I only need just like sanding down a bit. Some of them I want to spend a bit of time on because I'm just trying to get out the last little bits of ripple in them. Yeah. So they've had quite a few layers of paint on them in places. Other than that, and this, the other primer, the high build, sands really nice. It, it doesn't clog up the paper. It's a bit softer. Uh, really it wet like sounds really primer. nice. It looks really nice. It's quite well, pleasing, actually. yeah, doing yeah. The, that primer. Yeah. The, this, the, the epoxy primer is definitely a bit harder to sand. It's better now, actually. Look, the weather's got better, and I think this stuff cures off quicker. And uh, it's a lot easier to dry when it's properly uh, sand Is when it's properly dry. Is this the last dry. bit of epoxy priming to do, um, sanding to do then, in the epoxy primer? Uh, well, just the headlamp panels. Oh. But other than that, yeah. There's always a bit more. Right, okay. <laughs> I've got one very fit arm. <laughs> I've, got, I've got an injury in my arm. It's like, I think He's I've got, got a tennis elbow. <laughs> Really summon, isn't it? <laughs> it's a young person's game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you filming? I'm oh, filming me hoovering the inside of a door. And just like that, the driver's side door, Tim's former nemesis, finally got its coat of Heidel primer. What a transformation this door has gone through, from falling into rusty pieces and full of holes, to being cleaned up with the sandblaster. Then so much intricate welding and fabricating. Complete sandblasting, epoxy primer and bodywork, more sanding, then Heidel primer. It's looking fantastic and is now tantalisingly close to being in that shiny, shiny top coat. You might also remember in our last video, Tim applied stone chip paint to the undersides of the wings. This was a personal choice as there are various methods you can use to protect the undersides. We've used primer over the top of the stone chip paint and now the only question remains is Tim, why are you applying gloss to the undersides of the wings? I know, you've got to paint them with something and we've got some brown paint. I'm not going to polish them. Right, it's, uh, it's Saturday, pot noodle, stroke capacity day. 
Uh, it's the last day of the week in the workshop here and it's the last day of this video. We've got all our stuff out. We're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I think we're underestimated the amount of work in these panels. There's quite a lot, but uh, we've certainly get into the end of it. These are all in high build primer now, so all the body work. With the exception of the outside of these headlamp panels, we've got all the high build primer. This has got to be painted on the outside as soon as I've finished filming here. And uh, yeah, we're just pretty much ready to start glossing these up. Even the wings, have all four of them have now been stone chip, primed and glossed on the inside and they're ready to be sanded down and painted on the outside. I think other than a bit of bodywork on these still, uh, that's probably what I'll be doing next week. All that's left is to see how many tips I've earned off these. <laughs> Over to the chalkboard and see how many spaces are left to tick off. Uh, so yeah, next time you see us, we'll probably be getting on with all the top coat on the panels and finishing them off. And then we'll probably be looking towards the chassis after that. Um, but in the meantime, enjoy the nice weather. Yeah. I know we are. That's why our videos have been so <laughs> slow. We keep taking days off. Yeah, we do. And enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got to live your life, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> you certainly do. So get out there, enjoy some sunshine. Enjoy some sunshine. And we'll see you hopefully in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Right, bye. See bye, you bye. bye. <laughs> We're like, we could be YouTube, one of YouTube's greatest um, secrets. <laughs> oh yeah. But without the greatest, one of YouTube's secrets. I don't want to be famous anyway. I don't want to be famous. No.